Um, this is an ad that was run on Facebook in May of 2016, a key moment in the primary campaigns of both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, a group that claimed to be heart of Texas, you can see in the upper left, but was in fact paid for by Russians in rubles. The ad claims that Hillary Clinton is, quote, only one politician except Barack Obama who is despised by the overwhelming majority of American veterans. Should Facebook be allowed to be a platform that foreign adversaries can use to run political ads, sir? Senator, that advertisement has no place on Facebook. And we are committed to preventing that sort of behavior from uh, occurring again on our platform. The truth of the matter is you have 5 million advertisers that change every month, every minute, probably every second. You don't have the ability to, to know who every one of those advertisers is, do you? To your question about seeing essentially behind the platform to understand if there are shell corporations, of course the answer is, is no. How did Facebook which prides itself on being able to process billions of data points and instantly transform them into personal connections for its user, somehow not make the connection that electoral ads paid for in rubles were coming from Russia. One aspect of uh, the 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 Russian threat that was so visible in 2016, which was the, the question of account compromise, stealing contents, and um, disseminating them. And, and that's a threat our security team was intensely focused on and we think effectively addressed. I think in hindsight, we should have had a broader lens. There were signals we missed and we are now okay, focused. People are buying ads on your platform with rubles, they're political ads. You put billions of data points together all the time. That's what I hear that these platforms do. They're the most sophisticated things invented by man ever. All, Google has all knowledge that man has ever developed. <laughs> you can't put together rubles with a political ad and go like, hmm. Those two data points spell out something bad. Senator, it's, it's a signal we should have been uh, alert to, and, and in hindsight, uh, it's one we missed. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, will Facebook commit not to accepting political ads paid for with foreign money in the future, say with rubles or the North Korean won? If, if a political ad with a wand is paid for by a wand, a North Korean wand, will you pledge not to put it on? Senator, our, our goal is to require all political advertisers, regardless of currency, to uh, provide documentation inf information demonstrating that they're authorized to advertise. The, the currency signal, I understand your point, it's a signal we should have, so we should have you, missed. you can't say no to that. The currency signal. You can't say no to that. It's very easy to Please answer yes or no, sir. I'm asking you a question. Just answer yes or no. Can you do that? You're sophisticated. You're the chief legal counsel for Facebook. Please answer yes or no. I can tell you that we're not going to permit advertising to uh, permit political advertising by foreign actors. The, the reason I'm hesitating on foreign currency is that it's relatively easy for bad actors to switch currency. So it's, it's a signal, but it's not enough. <laughs>